Alright guys, here we go. We have the brand new Nexus 7 uh, 2013 edition here. I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing and show you guys uh, this device. It is uh, Asus or Asus uh, right there. This is the 32 gig model right there, which is uh, very nice. I went for the bigger one just because I figured I'm going to want to put multiple ROMs and stuff on this thing. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up. We've got the you know basic basic white packaging, and you have your seal right there on the side. A little slice open with my trusty little knife here, and uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. And voila, there you go. That's a nice little Nexus Seven little setup there. Pull this thing out. We'll set it aside for right now, and go ahead and open up. See what else we got in here. Um, looks like we've got your instructions, your cable for charging, and your uh, transformer plug, whatever you want to call it, power cube right there. So we're going to take all this stuff and kind of just set it to the side and uh, go ahead and check out the tablets. So first experience right here, just feeling this thing, is this is really like thin looking and skinnier than the other tablet quite a bit um, let's go ahead and unwrap it if I can here pretty good sticky on there Oops, there it goes so yeah very very uh, sleek profile on this thing for sure um, let's go ahead and just see what we have for buttons on this thing um, right here we have a power button and a volume up and down which is the exact same orientation as the original Nexus 7 right there on the side you do have the I think this is a 5 megapixel camera on the corner right here which is very very cool um, along with obviously your Nexus uh, logo right there along the back um, it looks like we have some kind of a speaker up here on the top right here on the front and obviously a microphone jack right there also on the device and then on the back you have looks to be two more looks like two more microphones or uh, speakers I should say these are both speakers up here too it looks like and then you have your uh, U micro USB port right there on the bottom um, and yeah that's pretty much it all the way around um, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what we get on this thing Come on, there we go. There's the good old Google. Now, it looks like we have a little sensor up here and then also a front facing camera uh, right up here on the top, right up there. So there's the standard um, Nexus boot animation for this device. Um, pretty standard here. I'm gonna let this thing boot up uh, and it did. Okay, that was really, really fast. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup and connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so it just went ahead and did a system update there, um, and it's just rebooting already. I mean, I connected the Wi-Fi and instantly it pulled something and is, is applying its, an update to the device. So you can see right here we're in um, Android stock system Android recovery, and it's installing the system update. This happened right on boot, right after I, I hooked to my Wi-Fi. So obviously this thing went up to Google, pulled a little bit of update it needed, and is going to go ahead and update before we even boot into the operating system here. So just be prepared for that if you get one of these devices also. Okay, so I just went ahead and skipped through the setup on this device. Um, and it actually, <laughs> it did a system update right off the get-go, but it looks like uh, it has another system update. I'm just, I'm just curious to see what we're actually on right now before I install that. So you can see it's got about a 50% charge in it. Um, you know looks pretty much just like your Nexus as it is let's go ahead and see what's in settings just because I'm curious about what is on this device so it is 4.3 but it does have an update waiting to get pushed to the device even though I just installed one on uh, the beginning there but let's go ahead and just look through some settings on this thing so again we're on Android 4.3 and you can see that it is uh, Jelly Bean 4.3 and you know the little Easter egg as you want to call it here, hidden little uh, cool stuff you can do. And um, let's go ahead and look at your applications and see what we have right here. Um, 
So you can see you do have the camera right here, front facing camera, back facing camera here actually, and then uh, I think how do you reverse the camera here? I know there's a front facing one, there it is, that should be it. Front facing camera, hi! So uh, you do have both of those, Google chatting, you know, things like that, uh, FaceTime stuff, and back facing camera obviously works really well, and actually looks pretty good. Um, you have some features here you can go to and kind of go through that way or um, you can go up through here and go through them also that way or change your modes and go to panorama photosphere all that kind of stuff is all in their video recording so very very cool uh, camera obviously works really really well you can see that let's see what else we have in here um, pretty standard Google applications nothing too thrilling in there um, obviously the display looks really really crisp though being as it is the 1080p um, display so I really dig that um, I've showed you guys in some of my other videos on this that a feature that I really like is this user profile thing and you have the owner but then you can add a profile to it um, and you can add a restricted profile and this is why I like it this allows you to have these multiple profiles but you can choose with a restricted profile um, let's actually go back really quick you, you have to set up a lock on your um, main profile if you're going to set up restricted profiles. So if you set up this like this, now you have this restricted user and you can tell it it's only allowed to use, for example, I don't know, navigation, or you can't turn navigation on enough. Let's say play music and earth camera. All right, so those are the things that that user can now access. So if you come up here and you switch users, okay, should take a sec here, and unlock it. Now this user only has access to these couple things. It has Play Store in there, but they don't have access to it. Um, gallery, a couple different things. That's all they have access to. That's it. So you can choose that um, and pick them for them. So that's pretty cool if you have kids and you want to set up a restricted profile for the children. That is a nice, nice feature um, on Android 4.3 that I really dig because I have children. Um, so other than that, like I say, very, very click, quick and smooth. If you just want to see a comparison to the original 7, I have a one right here. And I'll show you guys... Um, a, a comparison here if you can get a feel for it. Um, screen size you can see is probably just a little bit longer. Um, on the screen there's just a little bit more um, and, and the width is actually I think a little thinner. Um, but overall the devices you know the, the one is a little bit bigger here. It's bigger the one direction you can see it behind it right there and but it's thinner the other direction like this it's a little thinner so um, it's it's just just more for that uh, whole uh, 1080p experience is what it, is what it really boils down to is it gives you a better experience with that kind of stuff just for because of the way that even the screen shaped um, bezel wise it's thinner um, and definitely has the camera but the button layout is all the same so I mean very very cool I definitely dig it um, it's a nice device a good upgrade for the Nexus 7. Um, probably even easier to handle just because of that the thin the thinness of the device is a little easier um, but very nice still you got this long extension here kind of here and here on this on the top and bottom but uh, other than that very 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 nice so there you go guys this is going to be my unboxing of the Nexus 7 new edition 2013 I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, stay tuned, please, please stay tuned. I'm going to be having all kinds of great videos on this. Unlocking bootloaders, getting root access, installing custom recoveries, ROMs, all the goodies on this new Nexus 7. So please follow me right back here at uh, rootjunkie.com or you can just follow me on Facebook, Twitter, any of those things. I, could, I got links in my uh, video description here. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.